dear students, how are you all? Welcome back to our online lessons. This is Ra with you, and I am going to be your math teacher for our online lessons today. Today, we will continue chapter six, and we will take lessons 55 and 56, which are talking about addition stretches. Today, we are going to learn more about addition and how to add numbers using different ways or different stretches. But before we start our lesson, let's talking about the parts which addition sentence consists of. Here we have an addition sentence, four plus one equals five. Here numbers to be added, which are four and one, are called add-ins. So four is add-in and one is add-in also. The sign of addition here is called the plus and the sign of equality here is called equals. The number that resulting from addition is called sum or total. So here number five is the sum of four and one. In this lesson, we are going to talk about adding many digit numbers. Many digit numbers here are numbers consists of three digits, as you can see right here, or numbers consists of four digits, or numbers consists of five digits, as you can see right here. So in this lesson, we will learn how to add many digit numbers or big numbers using different ways or different stretches. Let's take the first strategy in our lesson, which is talking about adding using place value blocks. Adding using place value blocks. Here in this strategy, we can use these blocks to represent numbers to be added. Let's recognize to these blocks. Here we have different shapes of blocks as you can see right here in this picture. The first block represents a number in the one's place. So this cube, as you can see here, equals one because here we have only one cube. The second block represents a number in the tens place. It is equal 10 because this vertical line consists of 10 cubes. If we count cubes in this vertical line, we find it 10. So this vertical line represents tens in tens place. Okay. The third block the third block here represents a number in the hundreds place. It's equal 100 because if we count all cubes in this block, we found it 100 cubes inside it. So this block represents a number in the hundreds place. So here we are going to get the sum of 200. 41 and 123. We will draw these blocks to represent numbers to be added. At first, we will write place value names, as you can see here. In first number, we have one in ones and four in tens place and two in hundreds place. So we will draw one cube to represent ones in one place, as you see here. And we will draw four blocks of tens in tens place. And we will draw two blocks of hundreds in hundreds place, as you can see right here. In the second number, we have 
three in ones, two in tens, and one in hundreds. So we will draw three cubes in ones, as you see here, and two blocks of tens in tens place, and one block of hundreds in hundreds place. Okay, finally, to get the sum, let's count the blocks in each place starting from one's place. So here, how many blocks are there in one's place? We have here four. Okay, and how many blocks are there in tens place? We have here one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six tens. How many blocks are there in hundreds place? We have here one, two, three. So the sum of 241 and 123 is 364. Okay, let's take another example. Here I want to get the sum of 544 and 438. At first, we will draw the place value blocks of each number. In the first number, we have four ones. So we will draw four blocks in ones. And we have four in tens. So we will draw four blocks of tens in tens place. And we have five in hundreds. So we will draw five in hundreds place. In the second number, we have eight in ones, so we will draw eight cubes in ones place, and we have three in tens place, so we will draw three blocks of tens in tens place, and we have here four in hundreds, so we will draw four blocks of hundreds in hundreds place, okay? To get the sum, we count all blocks starting from one's place. Here in one's place, as you can see right here, if we count all blocks in one's place, we found that we have here 12 blocks in one's place. But we can try 10 or more in one's place. So, you can make a group of 10 ones and carry this group to the next higher place as one 10, as you can see right here. So we regroup 10 ones from one's place, as you can see here, and carry this group to the next higher place, which is tens here. So here in tens, we have a new one ten block collected from the ones place. Okay, so to get the sum, let's count the blocks in each place value. We have here only two in ones. Okay, so we write number two in ones. And in tens here, let's count blocks in tens place. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we will write number eight in tens place. And let's count the blocks in hundreds place. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we will write number nine in hundreds place. So the sum of 544 and 438 is equal to 982. The second strategy in our lesson is talking about adding using decomposing numbers. Adding using decomposing numbers. In this strategy, we will decomposing each number by writing the values of each digit in this number or we were writing 
a number in its expanded form. We have here two numbers, 425 and 231. And I want to get the sum of these two numbers using decomposing numbers strategy. Let's focus to the number 425 and trying to write it in its expanded form. In this number, we found that five is in one's place and two is in tens place and four is in hundreds place. What is the value of digit four in the hundreds place? That's right, we'll find that digit four in hundreds place, its value equals four hundreds, okay? What is the value of digit two in tens place? We know that the digit two in the tens place has the value of 20. What is the value of digit five in ones place? We know that the digit five in one's place has the value of five. Okay, so 425 in its expanded form written as 400 plus 20 plus five. Okay, next let's write the number 231 in its expanded form. The value of digit two in hundreds place is two hundreds. So we will write two hundreds. And the value of digit three in tens place is 30. And the value of digit one in ones place is one. Now we are going to add ones together and tens together and hundreds together to get the sum. Let's start from ones. Here in ones we have five and one. So five plus one equals six. Let's move to tens place. In tens place, here we have 20 and 30. The sum of 20 and 30 is 50. Let's move to the hundreds place. We have here in hundreds, four hundreds and two hundreds. So the sum of four hundreds and two hundreds is equal to six hundreds. Okay, so we have the sum of these two numbers written in its expanded form. And we can now write this number in its standard form to get the sum of these two numbers. So this number 600 plus 50 plus 6, we can write it in its standard form as 656. So the sum of these two numbers, 425 and 231, is equal to 656. The third strategy in our lesson is adding by using number line pops. Here I want to get the sum of 541 and 213 using number line hops. Which number is smaller here? 541 or 213? That's right, 213 is the smaller number. So at first, we will decompose the smaller number, which is 213, to ones, tens, and hundreds. So 213 is written as 200 plus 10 plus three. So we will draw the number line 
starting with the big number, which is 541. The first hoop in number line is adding hundreds, which is 200 here, to the number 541. But remember, when we adding using the number line, we're going forward or to the right direction, as you can see right here. Okay, so here in the first hop, we add 141 to reach to the number 741. Here we can notice that when we add 200, we only change the hundreds place. So digit five here is increased by two to be seven. And the tens and ones digits stays the same. So here four is stays four itself and one stays one itself, okay? The second hop in number line is adding the tens, which is 10 here to the new number we get on the number line, which is 741. Let's see this hop on the number line. We will add 10 to 741. Okay. And we will reach to the number 751. Now this time, I'm not changing the hundreds, okay? I will change the tens of place. So four here, four here becomes five because we add one ten to 741. And the hundreds stays the same. So seven stays seven itself. And also one the digit stays the same. One stays one itself, okay? Let's see the third hop and the number line. In this hop, in number line, we will add the ones. So the third hop and number line is adding ones. So here we will add three to the last number we get on the number line, which is 751. Okay. As you can see right here, we add three to the last number, which is 751. To get the number 754. Here, we will change the ones digit only because we add ones to this number. So one becomes four increased by three. And tens of digit and the hundreds digit stays the same. Five stays five itself and seven stays seven itself. So the sum of 541 and 213 equals 754. Okay, my dear students, this is all what we have in part one of our lessons. In this part, we take three additional stretches, which are adding using the place value blocks and adding using the decomposing numbers and the third one, adding using the number line hops. In the next part, which is part two, we will continue addition structure and we will take a new addition structure and how to round the numbers to nearest hundreds and to nearest thousand. So don't forget to see part two, which related to this part. Goodbye, my dear students.